Hello, and welcome to the final edition of Newswatch for Winter Quarter 2011. I'm Shantara Anderson. And I'm Scott Labrie. Coming up on Newswatch, find out which doctor has landed in hot water. Also, find out how union busting in Wisconsin could affect Ellensburg. All this and more coming up on Newswatch. Texting has started to take over people's lives. Not only has it taken over while you're driving, but it has now moved into the school system. We now go to Newswatch reporter Leah Shepard, who wanted to find out more about this soon-to-be epidemic. Hello, my name is Leah Shepard, and I'm reporting from Ellensburg High School. Even without cell phones, students are using the texting language in the classroom. Teachers are finding that students are taking shortcuts in their essays. For example, putting the letter U when referring to a person and not capitalizing the letter I when using it as a pronoun. Mrs. Rowden, English and literature teacher here at EHS, marks these shortcuts as spelling errors in their essays. She doesn't, however, penalize them in their quizzes when they put the letters IDK when they don't know the answer. It wouldn't be a surprise if these students got more than a bad grade if they use this after they graduate. I'm Leah Shepard reporting to you from Ellensburg High School. New training in Kittitas County is keeping you safer along with keeping money in your pocket. The Kittitas County Law Enforcement will be receiving better training for a new shooting simulator. The Law and Justice Council recently purchased a surplus firearm simulator from the military. The council authorized up to $25,000 to acquire the training tool. After doing some research, the Sheriff's Office found the used simulator. The simulator valued at between eight and ten thousand dollars new will allow for training year round inside a building. Officers may carry special training weapons to practice on a screen real life scenarios that they may face during their shift. Captain of the Ellensburg Police Department Dan Hansberry says. This is especially important in our county as it saves taxpayers money since no ammunition is required. This system is currently set up with Ellensburg Police Department for their annual in-service training. It will be moved to a county building later for use by other agencies. An Ellensburg doctor will face charges of improper conduct when he returns home from India this month. Dr. Suraj Singh is accused of intimidating patients into unnecessary procedures, recording surgeries he didn't perform, and other unethical behaviors. Attorney Ron Van Wert, representing Dr. Singh, says they will file their response to each of the charges this month. Newswatch will keep up with this case as information develops. Kittitas Valley Community Hospital is in the process of putting their strategic plan together for 2011-2012. The plan sets the direction of the hospital, which way it wants to go for those years. Director of Communication and Marketing Michelle Wenzel says the plan is made up of eight initiatives. Initiatives include their financial position and patient health care experience. Coming up on Newswatch after the break, reporter... Elizabeth DeVos joins us in the studio to talk about stats canceling unions. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> 